Basically, when um, you have data in the, in the EU, you're not allowed to send it abroad unless you can make sure that that data is, is properly protected abroad. Because if you have like wonderful privacy protection in Europe and then you send it abroad and there's nothing, then your whole privacy has a leak. So we pretend there is privacy in the US when at the same time the law in the US says that there is mass surveillance. Um, and that's basically what these cases are about. So we right now have a larger round of cases um, on different Facebook companies, so WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, um, because they basically argue that under GDPR they don't need any of your consent anymore, they just found a workaround in their terms that basically you don't have any right to consent anymore. That's something we're um, in looking into right now. We have a couple of cases right now on access rights. So if you go to a company and say, I want to have a copy of everything you store about me, um, there are let's say 10 issues where the law is not very precise and where we don't know what information should you actually get and what shouldn't you get. So Europe really has very strict data protection laws in the sense of um, the general rule is you're not allowed to use data of another person unless you can justify it somehow. In the US it's the other way around, you're basically allowed to do anything with data unless some specific law prohibits it and there is only law for for example, health information or for kids under 13, um, for credit information, so only in, in small sectors. But the rest, of the, uh, the rest of the internet and all of these platforms we know is actually not really regulated in the US. For privacy, it's really interesting because we do have all these rights on paper in the EU and we usually pride ourselves with being the biggest fundamental rights protect protectors the world has ever seen. But if you actually violate these rights, there's nothing that happens in Europe, like they all look the other way. And I think that's the, the weird thing about European privacy approaches, that we talk about it a lot, but we don't really do anything. And...